Hi, I'm Sally. I'm here to show you how to remove the nasty um, pad that's underneath your carpet. If you did not watch my previous video on how to remove the carpet, please feel free to do so. Just go to my channel. So let's get started. The first step is you're gonna use your utility knife and start from a corner, any corner in the room. So you cut at an angle, but, so, but since I already removed the carpet, it's so much easier to pull that it may not even be necessary to use your utility knife. What I like to do is cut it into thirds so that you won't have to move a big, huge area of the pad. So just keep pulling. See how it rips real easily? This one is already cut for me. If you don't have one that's cut, feel free to do so with a utility knife. So what you're doing is just pulling it and rolling it as you go. See how easy it comes up? So now what you do is just roll this nasty pad. Okay, so now that you have rolled your pad, I like to fold it step on it, get some tape, packing tape usually, packing tape usually does help. This way, you don't have to worry about taking a big huge piece and actually find it. There we go. Go once or twice and then just go ahead and cut it. and it's ready to be shipped to the dumpster. But there is another step that I will show you. Don't forget to put your knee pads to protect your knees. Now you can use your flexible joint knife or any knife to remove the remaining padding that's on the floor, on the concrete, actually. See how easily This comes up. And the knee pads actually really help because this is all concrete. I had an injury several years ago by a snow ski accident, so I have screws and plates in this knee. So anybody can really do this. Um, so just continue, and after you finish, then just sweep it all up. Or you can use your vacuum to clean up all the mess so that it can be ready for your next project. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that this has been very helpful, helpful for you. Please click on the links below that are on the description for some simple steps on how to do it yourself. That way you can save some money. And the links below also will take you directly to get items that are necessary for your project. Thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you again and I hope to see you soon. Have a blessed day.